Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. In today's video, I want to talk to you about exogenous ketones and should you be taking or not. This is a very controversial subject, so I want to give you the pros and the cons of it, and I want to let you know really from my experience what I truly feel about this, because like I said, it could be very controversial, and a lot of people are getting taken advantage by this, and I want to make sure that that does not happen to you. So before we get started, I want to give a shout out to one of our keto rock stars, because I love celebrating you guys. You guys are just crushing it, you're killing it out there, and I really, really wanna make sure that we give you some recognition for that. So anyway, this one comes from Thomas Hall. Thomas, you are rocking it, my brother. I have a testimonial for you. About a year ago, I was 520 pounds. I started the research in the keto diet. A friend of mine told me all about it. I, like many people, have tried everything, including a failed lap band surgery. I gave Keto Lifestyle everything I had. I lost 80 pounds in two months. That's almost a whole person, by the way, Thomas, so great job. With intermittent fasting and keto. Since then, I'm currently 300 pounds, and that's about 220 pounds. That's two people you've lost right there, so you are rocking it, and, I, and I'm still going. I've struggled as of late and I'm frustrated. And a lot of you have experienced that. Check out the video I did on Keto Plateau. By the way, like I said, you're killing it, you're crushing it. Don't get down on yourself. You are doing phenomenal. We all hit these plateaus where we just don't seem to be moving that needle anymore. Maybe change your, you know, lower your fat percentage. Maybe start to go to one meal a day or two meals a day. Maybe shorten up your eating window a little bit. Maybe you're snacking a little too much more. Or maybe you should increase your exercise a little bit. You'll crash through that barrier, and I hope that helps a lot of you out there too to show you that, you know what, you can lose a ton. You could do great and all of a sudden come to a screeching halt but you can get through it. You can get through that wall, over that wall, around it, crash through it, under it, however you need to get to your goals. Do not give up. All right, I've watched a ton of your videos and I really appreciate your candor. That means I'm really straightforward. <laughs> that comes from being from New York. That's all I know how to do. It's comforting and it has motivated me to continue. I'm glad for that. I will be seeing a chiropractor also. Very good, very good, good choice. Thanks for all you've done in inspiring people to live the healthiest life possible. Uh, if I can do this, anyone can. Well, thank you so much, Thomas, for inspiring a whole lot of people because you're doing it, my brother. And for that, you are a keto rock star. And in case you guys hadn't noticed, we do have some merch now. I don't like plugging our stuff, but you know what? Celebrate yourself. Get one of our keto rock star shirts and show it off. Celebrate your enthusiasm for being a keto rock star. So anyway, let's dive on in to are exogenous ketones really necessary? Are they good for you? Are they bad for you? What's really the truth behind this? So first of all, what are ketones? How are they normally produced? And it's very simple. Your body takes fatty acids, so for example, the fat in, on your body or the foods you eat, it sends it to the liver and your liver converts it to fuel. One of the fuels, actually it's the preferred fuel. I always like to say it's a much cleaner and healthier and better fuel than glucose is, but it will take that fuel and it'll convert it into ketones, and ketones are like what your body prefers. Your brain runs off of ketones, your body does ketones. It is rocket fuel for your body. Typically, the one that your body uses the most is beta-hydroxybutyrate. That's the one that if you did a blood test and you pricked your finger, that's what would show up in your blood, and that's the main one. That's the one you want to focus on the most, and it's the most accurate. Now, what are exogenous ketones? Well, exo means it comes from outside the body. So these are an external source. That means you're taking it in, whether it be pill form, powder, drink, mix, whatever you want. That's how you're taking it in. So it's an external fuel source. So once again, your body's not making this. That's the key distinction. Your body's not producing these ketones. You're taking it in from an outside source. So once again, you typically will take it in through the form of beta-hydroxybutyrate. It'll come in capsules, it'll come in powder, it'll come in a drink mix, however. And so that's the form it comes in in beta-hydroxybutyrate. Now, what are the possible benefits? And I do say possible because a lot of this is really not researched. 
A lot of this is not proven. People will speculate. They'll say that this is the case. And so I just want you to let you know that I've not experienced a lot of these things. So this is what I've read. This is what I've heard. This is what I've seen. So carb-free fuel source. Well, that's obvious. I'll, I'll give it that. It is a carb-free fuel source. Once again, it is rocket fuel. Beta-hydroxybutyrate is a very, very powerful energy source for the body. So if you're taking it in, you will use it for energy and it actually will help you feel like you're energized. Helps a body and the cells get used to being in ketosis. Well, if you're just new to it, if you're trying to get into ketosis, what it does is it can kind of prime the pump a little bit. In other words, it gets your cells used to saying, hey, this is what ketones feel like. If you've been a carboholic or a carbivore, as I like to call it, your body's not used to burning that. Your body's used to burning sugars for fuel. It's not used to burning ketones. So when you give it a little taste of the ketones, the body and the cells may just say, hey, I like that. I want more. Where's the rest of it? Is there any more of this coming? So that's a way to prime the pump. You'll feel better. Now, a lot of you may experience keto flu. A lot of you, when you first get into the keto diet, you're going to start to say, you know what, I feel sluggish, I feel slow. Can this benefit that? And I've seen that it does. Not me personally, but once again, I've read and I've seen uh, people say that it does make them feel better. Now, in the keto diet, that's a big plus because I don't want you getting discouraged. I don't want you trying this and going, you know what, my energy is through the floor. I feel moody. I'm irritable. I'm cranky. First of all, you might want to up your, your fats a little bit. Make sure you're getting more fat in your diet. That might be a sign of that. Maybe up your electrolytes also. So you don't necessarily have to get these exogenous ketones for this, but they are shown to make you feel better. They're going to power your brain more because once again, your brain loves beta-hydroxybutyrate. It'll help, like I talked about, with the keto flu. Now, epilepsy, can it help with that? Possibly, yeah, because the keto diet really was all about that when it was first formed, or at least the name the keto diet back in the 1920s when it helped children because their brains worked better off of ketones rather than glucose. They had less seizures when they were on the ketogenic, higher fat, low carb diet. So can it help with epilepsy? Possible. Okay, once again, possible. Just the simple fact you're taking in ketones are good for epileptic patients, but whether exogenous ketones can help with that, I don't know. But it's a possibility. Helps kickstart ketosis, like I said, gives your, your body a little bit of that taste of what ketones are like, and it reduces hunger. It has been shown to do that, so if that helps you out in the beginning, then maybe it's okay. However, one thing I find that I didn't put it up here, one thing you'll notice is that anytime you start to get a new diet out or a diet that, once again, the keto's been proven, the keto diet's been around for a really long time. Before it was the keto diet, it was just the way our ancestors ate. But once you get a diet out that starts to trend, you're gonna start to see people coming out of the woodwork want to make money off of it. And that's really what it comes down to. You're going to see a lot of people pushing exogenous ketones who are part of network marketing groups or MLMs. I'm not saying they're all bad, but what I am saying is you have to be careful because all of a sudden, everybody's going to come out with an exogenous ketone and try to sell it to you. And they are expensive. They can get very, very pricey. Okay? So that's what you want to watch out for also. Now, what are the problems with this? Well, there are problems. One, let's get something really, really straight. Okay, Thomas, you said I'm all about candor. I'm about to get candor. You're not necessarily in ketosis. Not you. But I mean, when you're taking exogenous ketones, that doesn't mean you're in ketosis. You want to be in ketosis. You want all the benefits of ketosis. I did a video on the 12 health benefits of being in ketosis. And it was fantastic. You're talking about everything from Alzheimer's, epilepsy, helping people with metabolic disorders like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, insulin resistance, reducing inflammation, weight loss, regulating your metabolic hormones, getting your hormones better. I mean, the list goes on and on. You want to be in ketosis. Just because you take in an external source, as far as a pill or a potion or some type of mix or a powder, whatever it may be, and you then measure your ketones and you go, oh, look, I'm in ketosis. No, you're not. Not necessarily. You're now measuring the ketones you just ate. So if they show up and they go into your blood and all of a sudden your blood is teeming with ketones and you go, oh, let me just prick my finger and test it. Oh, look, the meter says I have, I'm in ketosis. 
No, not necessarily. You might not be in ketosis at all. In fact, a lot of people will say who, who promote these exogenous ketones is you don't have to change your diet very much. You're going to get into ketosis. You can eat carbs, a lot of carbs, and you'll get back into ketosis. Just because you're measuring ketones doesn't once again mean you're in ketosis. You want the benefits of being in ketosis. And the benefits come from the fact that your liver is making the ketones. Not that you took it in from some pill, capsule, or drink mix, okay? Your liver is making the ketones. That means your body has become fat adapted. That means you've made the switch. That means you're ketone adapted. That's what you want. You want to get to where your body's burning fat for a preferred fuel source rather than sugars, okay? That's being candor, okay? Now, you're not necessarily healthier. Just because, once again, you have ketones floating through your body doesn't mean you've improved your hormonal balance. It doesn't mean you've redu uh, re reduced inflammation. It doesn't mean you're less insulin resistant and more insulin sensitive. It doesn't mean any of that. It just means you have ketones in your blood or ketones on your pee stick, okay? Or if you blow the little uh, ketone meter, oh, all of a sudden I'm have ketones in my, in my breath. That doesn't mean you're in ketosis, especially if you're taking them from an outside source. It's going to hinder normal ketosis. Think of it this way, and this is a problem a lot of my clients, patients, viewers have is to say, Dr. Nick, I'm not, in, I'm not burning any more fat. Well, sometimes you have to also reduce your fat a little bit because you're, if you're taking in too much dietary fat, you're not going to burn it from your body. It has no reason to go to the storage. It's taking it in this way. If it needs a certain amount of fat a day and you're eating it, it has no reason to go to burn fat reserve, Okay, just so you know that. So sometimes you need to lower your fat a little bit at a certain point, and we talk about that. So if you're taking in ketones, your body's going, hey, we've got plenty of energy coming in from these little pills or capsules or drink mixes. We don't need to convert any more in the liver to ketones. We don't need to burn any more fat and convert it to ketones to send to the body for energy. We've got plenty of it coming from these pills. Does that make sense? So just because you're taking the pills, once again, doesn't mean you're in ketosis, and it could hinder your body from getting into ketosis and burning the fat that you want to burn. Hinders fat burning, okay, we just talked about that. And like I said, can be very, very expensive because of the fact, you know, in fact, there's different types. There's, there's salt uh, exogenous ketones are typically mixed with uh, calcium or sodium, potassium, or magnesium. And then you get these exogenous esters, and esters become very, very expensive. So anyway, I'm not going to give you any name brands because I don't personally use them myself, so I don't have the name brands to give you. Not that I would anyway, because obviously I'm really not promoting them. But I did want you to know the potential pros, if there are any, and the definite cons, the problems. All right? So I hope this was good information for you. I hope and pray that I helped to shed some light and some information on this. Because like I said, I get a lot of questions about this. I've been getting them more lately. That's why I felt the need to do this video. I get people all the time saying, do you recommend these or not? So anyway... Like I said, I hope this is great information for you. If so, please make sure you like, you share, you comment, and subscribe. I love seeing your comments, and I love seeing those testimonials. Keep them coming because you know what? I'm going to give you a shout-out. One day your name is going to be coming across your little screen there, and you're going to be like, oh, my God, he's talking about me. So anyway, did my voice just go up just doing that? Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I love and appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for supporting our channel. Like I said, check out some of our merch there. Get yourself a Keto Rockstar t-shirt and wear it proudly and uh, show off that you're uh, a Keto Rockstar. Anyway, I love and appreciate you. God bless. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.